Hello guys, welcome to Just Vibe Vibes. Welcome to our Raised in Africa series. And today I want to talk about content. This is something that I have been talking about a lot and I've actually talked about it I think in the episode that you must have watched on Sunday. So when I talk about entitlement, I also talk about con being content too. But today I just want to talk about content and it need to be about poverty. But content is the main focus. Okay, the reason why I want to talk about contentment, <laughs> contentment <laughs> is because I see a lot of people that I feel like in Africa, maybe I would say more based mostly on social media, but in general, actually, we don't have contentment. We don't have a culture of content. That's the right thing. We don't have the culture of content. Because from when you were born, your parents are pushing you to be better, to be greater, to be better than where they are, which is not a bad thing. But that can lead to not being content because no matter where you get to, you want more. And one of the reasons why I'm talking about this not being like, uh, why I'm talking about poverty, or should I talk about wealth, rather instead of even poverty with it, is this, right? Okay. Most people grow up from a middle class background, right? So they and some people grow up from a poor background i think majority in africa is either middle class or poor they are people or what people what they call poor to be honest i feel like it's just normal but then there are people that grow up from a wealthy background or rich and then there's the wealthy but i feel like um most times right when people grow up from this background like as people that grow up from middle class background right they look down on the people that grow up from uh, a poor background they are being looked down on. Their their parents tell the children, especially if you don't even dare marry someone like that. They now they are aiming to marry someone that is in a rich class. You know what I mean, like an upper class than the class that they are. So it's like as you're growing up, when it comes to marriage, you're being told. When it comes to relationships, marriages, work, everything, you're being told. You're being pushed. Like there's nowhere where they are actually teaching you how to follow your mind i must say there are some family that do this that follow the, you know what i mean that let their children follow their mind that train their children in a content way i was lucky i have one of those family although yeah they still wanted to push me but i had a family whereby we were taught to be content but still want to grow you know i don't know how you know how that i don't know how that happened but i'm lucky that that happened but also, I don't know how to even explain that in detail. How do you teach someone to be content? But then, because we're happy where we, where we never put it. I feel like, yes, because we're happy where we're never looking at what other people are doing. So my family, I never grew up like looking at oh, what someone else is wearing, what someone else has in their home, what someone, my parents never compared me with other people. So I think all those things made me content. And because we're always content with what we have, we well, my family, everybody was more of a homebody. I was even the one that was more um social, like I go out. Every other person stays at home. Like literally, if they're not at work, they're not at school, they're at home. That is my family for you. So I was even the one that goes out. So we were kind of like in our own cocoon, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So it's kind of like um we didn't we didn't look at what other people are doing we didn't put our eyes into what other people are doing yeah we're told like we're brought up in a way by okay you need to work hard study well then you get something you know what i mean so we put like you put the work then you get the the reward from the work that you put in so i grew up in a house that people my parents were hard working you know what i mean and things like and everybody you know what i mean it was just that so it made me so content like now when i look back i'm like oh this i came from a very very humble beginning but it didn't even feel that way and i am appreciative of that i said that a lot because i am really really appreciative of that because that made me who i am today and i grew up not looking down on anybody that was how we're brought up to we don't look down on anybody trust me see like when you say mad person walking on the road and other people will cross the road to the other side of the road i will walk on that road with that mad person and they won't say hello to me and i'll say hi back to them because i i don't know <laughs> i wasn't brought anywhere by looking down on someone like if someone is dressed tired, tired or whatever i don't look down on them i would talk with them i would laugh with them i would no more so i wasn't brought up in a classist way but what what i find out that happens in africa a lot is that most people don't have 
but then they want to they aspire to be at a particular level and so now they start looking at anybody in their level or at the lower level with the classist eye because all they want is a higher level so that's why um girls are being pushed so oh you have to marry someone that's rich you know that's why when they, some girls if some people they will date someone and the person is not at the level that they want their partner to be but maybe they love the person then they will start lying to their friends then they're like oh he has this when he doesn't oh he did this for me they'll buy someone and say oh no he was on that boy for me i used to know someone like that that she would be like she was like i remember then when um n95 nokia n95 was like the phone and then bbn after n n90 n95 and then there was bbn blackberry phones so you know they kind of look alike so i remember she bought herself like the n95 and then she was like oh my boyfriend boyfriend but we all know that the boyfriend had nothing but it's not a bad thing for the boyfriend to have nothing do you understand because he's doing the what he can do but the point is that she was trying to you know put him in a level because that's what that's where she aspired for her boyfriend to be because of how she was brought up because of what she has been told like who she should be with like you know or things like that so you see people lying about what their man is doing for them just because they want to keep up with the johnsons you know because that's what they have told them when they are growing up now this is the kind of person you should be with and then you see people losing an opportunity for real love for real happiness because they're chasing wealth that's why you see like a very young girl her family will be so happy thanking god dancing when an old man that she would literally be repelled from once her hand in marriage i'm not saying that someone that's young cannot marry an old person if you love the old person then there's a connection then there's a connection but i'm talking about the one whereby people go into it just because of the money and that's why you see like then this is when you now get this point part where pastors preachers seers whatever you want to call them now use this as a way to even make more money to stop money from people now they tell everybody that oh your star is very bright you're supposed to be this successful is this 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 is that is stopping you give me this and that then we'll pray you know and then people go and they borrow and they do this and then they start and then they tell them oh it's so so person that is holding you it's so so person then now they're looking at everybody around them like with a bad eye and that's one thing i wanted to even like talk about like when it comes to nollywood i don't know why i'm talking about this here but it's something i've been thinking about and i'm like one day i'm gonna just do a show on it i love nollywood the movies are good they have good movies but sometimes they just like most of the things they act about i have never seen in real life and i was born and i grew up in nigeria i was an adult in nigeria and i never saw it i never saw a sister that dated her her uh, sister's boyfriend i'm not saying it doesn't happen but the rate at which they acted it you will feel like everybody has experienced it I haven't seen a uh, sister, envious of sister in a way whereby they killed the sister. Like, you know, like, I didn't see all that. But then the way they acted, you would think that our friends, like, I've seen friends being, you know what I mean, like, maybe but now it's different, but the way they act this whole, like, they focus on the negative, like, the 1%, and then they focus on it, and then they drag on it. Like, even this condemnation, yeah, there are some parents, like, I've seen so many movies where by the parents who just insult the guy, say, you, this, I'm not saying people don't do that, but maybe they would tell the, well, I don't think sometimes they do it in the presence of the guy, maybe they would tell the girl, like, that guy, I don't want to see him, or maybe they would sigh and walk away, but the rate at which they show mother hating their children, or like, they, I feel like sometimes they focus too much on the negative, and considering that that is what people are, are because I've said it before, what you watch, you're feeding yourself what you feed yourself is not only food it's what you see what you surround yourself with what you breathe you know what i mean everything around you so if you watch what you listen to what you read so if you're watching those kind of movies that's why if you, if you know me like when those kind of movies start i'm just like i'm not watching this because i would like i'll just be pissed watching it because i feel like there's so many more good than the bad so why are you showing the bad so much like sometimes seriously because i watch movies i like to watch movies and then i watch a lot of movies and sometimes i watch that's why i did i i said doing my movie review because i wanted a situation whereby i'll be able to give you a really good movie so i don't go through it because me i just started five minutes i'm, I'm off it because i don't have time for those kind of things to feed my spirits those kind of rubbish okay so now let's go back to contentment 
We have some people that are not contented where they are. And because they're not contented where they are, they don't even see solutions where they are. And that leads to their continual poverty. You see someone that has a land in the village. I've been talking about farming. And I'm going to continue talking about farming. Someone has a land in the village. They sell that land to go to the city. What do you have in the city? I don't understand. Do you think that there's a tree that grows money in the city? And then let's talk about abroad. Lots of people will sell, like, they, they are making money. They are making even the, their business. They have millions. They will sell all of it to come abroad. Because they think that there's one tree that is the same thing. When you sell that land in the village, if you don't have a plan in the city, if you've not been to the city, you don't have someone in the city where you can invest in so business and all of that, then you just the money is just going to waste and then you're going to be suffering in the city. Then you're going to be one of those that are sleeping underneath the bridge in the city. And maybe you'll be too shy or because of people, because of the pride. That's why we talk about people always wanting. Because now your parents now they'll be so happy. Oh, my child is in the city, 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 city. Because now they're happy that I feel like now you're a big pass, like big boy or big girl. Nigeria, big boy, big girl, maybe someone that has money. So now you might even be too ashamed self to even go back home. You know? And then if it's a girl that leads them into prostitution and some kind of things. And guys into gangs and things that they shouldn't even be part of. Sometimes, sometimes their parents even think that they're dead. But they're there. Because of people are not content because they know that if they go back home, people are going to laugh at them. And that's another culture that we have to stop. Now I go back to our celebrity on this. I'm going to talk about this another day. And uh, if you don't want to talk about it, I'm going to bring like receipts. Today I don't, I don't, have the, I don't think I have the strength this week to, be going, to go and look for receipts. But I'm going to save receipts as this goes on. And then one day I'm going to bring lots of receipts. But if I can find some, I will, bring, I will put them up. Like they always call people poor. Someone says something wrong in your comment. Yeah, people are always looking for for uh, for people reaction or some people are bored, whatever. They say, oh, you that have not eaten. You're poor, you're poor. If you're if everybody is poor, who is watching your movies? If everybody is poor, who is buying your music? If everybody is poor, who is supporting you? Because without those fans, you will be nothing. So why do you always insult people, call people poor? And uh, show me that if someone, a celebrity in the UK calls somebody poor, that would be the end of their career. They would be go, going on an apology tour. Because people, and that person said, they might just even give that person all the world, that person, because that person, there might be a GoFundMe for that person. The person might start even going from one station to another station, going to do interview of how they felt. <laughs> and everything, I'm telling you. But in, I see that a lot, like on social media, like everything, oh, poor, oh, you've not eaten, at least I've eaten. Someone will say, oh, I saw one where someone saying, oh, why are you wearing, I'm not just got a celebrity name, but it, because it's a long time ago and I don't want to put anybody on blast. Like, oh, why are you wearing a jacket? They were wearing like a proper leather jacket in that hot weather. Like, you must be dying because definitely you must be dying. I, I see this and that and I think that kind of thought, but I don't just write it down in people's comments because... I'm of the opinion sometimes if you don't have anything to good to say, don't say it. The only time I will go on someone is when they start cussing, like, oh, uh, like, I even kind of have stopped that. I'm not even giving them my energy. Like, oh, zoo nation, oh, zoo country. Where is not a zoo country? Please. You know, like, all, the, all those are rubbish, you know? But you will just see the person, the person will be like, oh, at least I've eaten. Oh, the person could buy data. Data is expensive. That means they've eaten. And the noise, at least they have data to talk to you. How about that? So it's too much of this poverty thing. Because we always look down on people, it makes people not content. And then the music doesn't help. It's all about brands, you know, blah, blah. They're not the only ones that do that. Every, to be honest, they do that. But all those things, it make people, people are pushing. People are pushing. Everybody wants to, you know, wants to, um, wants to come up. Everybody wants to, if everybody's rich, who will be poor? All fingers are not equal. There's never going to be a time where people are not going to be poor. There's never going to be a type of not going to be middle class. There's never going to be a type of not going to be high, high, high class. Everything is going to be like that. Yes, what we want in life is for less people to be poor and for us to have more people in the, um, in the, um, what's the other class? The normal class. I'll call it normal class, to be honest. You know, that's what we want. That what we, if we can even get everybody out of poverty, then yes. But even what they even call poverty, that's another whole uh, discussion altogether. Because that's something I'm going to talk about. Maybe next week we'll talk about poverty. But what they call poverty is totally different. And then I'm going to just end this here. What I'm going to say is that be content where you are. And wherever you are as a person, think of a way that you can grow from there. Being content where you are does not mean you should be, I would say, content, not like relaxed, like 
over comfortable whereby if you are okay where you like be content where you are if where you are is like where you want to be then that's fine but be content where you are and if you want to be more look at where you are and think how can you solve issues from where you are there are people that have been nurses they hated being a nurse but then they look at their uniforms and they're like oh i hate this uniform i'm gonna make it better and then they have a, like a nursing they start selling nurse and uh, nursing wares because you can buy your own and then they said things that are maybe more shapey more stylish and all that and they are making money from it and they are millionaires now from it since people want to talk about money there are people that what they said doing there's someone that i've talked about this guy before that i know and he told me this story i heard it with my own ears it started with when i mean <laughs> i don't know if it was about 150 naira go and buy he'll go and buy a cracker if you're in nigeria you know what a cracker is he'll buy the very cheap one then he will resell it like that he has about before i left nigeria he had about two boutiques now imagine how many he must have had and he had boys under him from that there is nowhere you cannot elevate from so just where you are be content there and think how you're going to make i've said it if you have a front and this if you have a front um a front um land in your front of your house then start something please to plan something plan that i was watching Cetro's and um, uh, family uh, Cetro's tv i follow them so i mean i'm subscribed to them so if you check my youtube you'll see them and the husband was talking about something you know that this t-shirt now that he's doing that is kind of like ankara style is so beautiful i'm gonna order some uh very soon i'm going to see how i can get some but it's so beautiful and then he was talking about how he was able to get to the women in the village that were doing it but not only that he was talking about like you know like anything you have even if you have pepper grow pepper think of how you can make that pepper into pepper paste you can sell it you know and make it more industrious there are so many things you can do anywhere you are look at the little you have how can i multiply it oh first of all start with that little don't first of all be thinking big so when you start with little, if it is pepper you have get the pepper sell the pepper fresh then maybe start having blender next to your pepper and say oh you, madam if you don't have to, i will blend it for you before you go then you add extra you know money for it for you to blend you know small 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 then you kind of elevate but don't don't stay and be thinking of millions 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 and then you end up going down 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 because you are thinking of too high you have to start from somewhere and then grow so that's what i want to talk about today and i hope this guys will be, please be contented when you're contented you'll be so happy i'm telling you be content look at the things around you be happy with them the people you have in your life think about the love that you have around you and be happy and if you don't have love you're gonna have it and love is not all about boyfriend and girlfriend husband and wife you know it's about family and every other thing friends and all that stuff all those uh, husband and wife and all that stuff is also important but think about this and please let's try to live our best life <laughs> on this earth i'll see you some other time please don't forget to like share and subscribe bye bye